Greetings. I'm Dr. Donna Bowers, a family physician and director of health services at Somerset West Community Health Centre in Ottawa. I'm also the past chair of the OMA's section of Community Health Centre Physicians. I'd like to tell you about an exceptional model of primary care delivery. It's called Community Centred Primary Health Care. It provides health care to tens of thousands of patients in Ontario and many communities. We are salaried physicians working in community health centres and Aboriginal health access centres. We work in teams in collaboration with different health professionals and our centres are non-profit and we are governed by community boards. So, if you're a newly graduating family physician or if you're in the fee-for-service world and are just a little curious about a different way of practicing family medicine, this just might be the right model for you. The things I find positive about working at a community health center, uh, I'd say the first thing would be just in general the quality of practice uh, th that I have there, uh, both from a professional and a personal uh, point of view. Um, I, I, I find that uh, working in a salaried position rather than a fee-for-service uh, allows me a lot more time to spend with my patients uh, to, to really provide the services that they need. Um, I'd say that in, when I was working in fee-for-service, I, I felt a bit like I was on a treadmill and somebody else kept turning the speed up. Um, uh, coming to the community health center, I was able to get off of that treadmill. Um, I, can, I can work at a pace that I feel comfortable to, to really uh, service my clients properly. Um, and I think my, my personal life, my personal family life is, is much more balanced. Um, it's more predictable, uh, my hours, my income, uh, my vacation time. Uh, so I, I think I'm a happier person and uh, I, I think professionally it's more rewarding. The community health center allows me to, I think, practice family medicine as I always envision without the restrictions of having to worry about my salary. It lets me do what I need to do when I think I need to do it and not have to think about all the other things. Whether it's seeing children, whether it's seeing seniors who often take a little bit more time, whether it's seeing people with chronic illnesses, I can take the amount of time that I need to do the job that I think needs to be done for all those people. It also lets me have a lot more flexibility with respect to my practice whether I want to do office procedures that can take a lot of time and frequently fee-for-service physicians don't get compensated well for that. I can do them if I think it's necessary instead of having to send that person off to see somebody else to get that done. Whether it's uh, being interested in another area of medicine and specializing in that. You know, I have an interest in asthma and I've been able to develop that interest and as a result the center has been recognized for its participation in a project around asthma. So I have a lot more flexibility here than I would if I was running my own practice and I was really restricted and constrained by uh, the need to earn an income, you know, something that's already taken care of because I'm salaried. So now I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. And that's great. For doctors and all of the professionals, community-centered primary health care allows us to do the best job possible. That's because the key administrative functions are taken care of. Executive directors play an important role to ensure that healthcare providers are able to focus on the patient. There is a doctor shortage in Ontario, That's it? Yeah. and we need to let doctors do what they do best, which is to provide patient care to our clients. The CHC model provides all the elements of support that helps the doctor focus on patient care and not on the business of health care. There is one other key feature that distinguishes community-centered primary health care from other models and that's our multidisciplinary teams. We work collaboratively and that team approach makes all the difference. The number one factor is working with a team. Um, I really love the fact that I'm not alone with a very complicated, complex, um, heart-wrenching case. Um, in a community health center, I'm seeing a lot of people with um, a lot of a variety of problems, psychiatric problems, housing problems, unemployment, literacy, um, etc. And I had seen actually the very same kinds of patients working alone in the walk-in clinic, but there was absolutely nobody to support me. So multidisciplinary teams are the key to why our model works so well. We work collaboratively 
not in silos. Each professional has their own depth of knowledge and expertise. All professions are equally respected and the most appropriate person works with the patient. At the beginning of the video, we asked you if you weren't just a little curious about a different way of practicing family medicine. We hope so, because community-centered primary health care may be just right for you. As salaried physicians working collaboratively in teams of health professionals in non-profit centres across Ontario, we're proud of the quality service we provide every day. So, as one family physician to another, I hope you'll think about what you've seen here. If it interests you, give us a call. On behalf of the Association of Ontario Health Centres, I'm Dr. Donna Bowers. This is really the closest a family physician can get to doing real family medicine as it was meant to be, as I think we were taught it was supposed to be in school. I think I'm a happier person and uh, I, I think professionally it's more rewarding. So there's a circle of healthcare that exists within the model that provides support, again, to ensure that doctors do what they do best, which is provide services to clients. Music